Uh, welcome Central Highlands to Australia Day 2022. Straight away you'll notice uh, that we're doing this differently and that's an Australian thing as well because um, faced with some challenges uh, we always adapt to what we need to do. So this year uh, we're going to bring Australia Day to you uh, online. So uh, whatever you've got planned for Australia Day uh, you can come and have a look at this uh, whenever you feel like it and celebrate your Australia Day the way you want to do it. And those, there are lots of things to celebrate. Uh, whether your journey started 60,000 years ago uh, or you've just come to this country in the last 12 months, uh, this is about celebrating uh, what Australians quintessentially like to think is their day, uh, to reflect on those good things, uh, to respect the things we have, but more importantly, to celebrate the things that are quintessentially and greatly Australian. So welcome to Australia Day 2022 um, and let's hope it's a great one. As a council and as a community, where we always start when we get together, we acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the people whose journey started 60,000 years ago. So we pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and we acknowledge uh, our first Australians. Central Highlanders, thank you for being part of um, Australia Day 2022. And now comes that important part where uh, in all parts of the Central Highlands you get the chance to recognise your local heroes. So whether you're in Capella, in Blackwater, or Springshaw, Rolston, or at Thierry, or in Emerald, uh, this is your chance to make sure that you go and say, these are the people that are really special to us on this Australia Day 2022. Cultural Award. The Cultural Award recognises individuals or groups that have made a significant contribution to the arts and culture in their community. The nominee for 2022 Cultural Award is Maureen Burns. Maureen has been the driving force behind the Pioneer Village for many years. She views heritage preservation as our responsibility for future generational inheritance. Maureen and a team of community volunteers spend many hours restoring items and welcoming tourists to the village. Maureen actively supports other history and heritage groups across the region. An example, the current project, Our Collection Matters, managed by Pioneer Village and delivered by Queensland Museum, which works with five community heritage groups delivering workshops, physical support to catalogue their collections. Maureen recently travelled to Bogantunga to help develop the inventory of items in their collection. Maureen is a member of the community Capella Community Reference Group, the Central Highlands Arts and Cultural Advisory Committee, CHATIC. As a member of CHATIC, Maureen is advocating for a CHRC heritage strategy to identify the importance of heritage for our region and how Council can manage and support groups into the future. Congratulations, Maureen. The Junior Sports Award. The Junior Sports Person of the Year Award recognises individuals 17 and under 
who have an outstanding record of achievement in their sport or have made a significant contribution as a coach, an official or administrator. The nominee for 2022 Sportsperson of the War Year Award is Ainsley Tasker. Ainsley is, an actively, is actively involved in all sporting events since a very young age and through hard work and determination has um, accomplished the age champion in both cross country and athletics throughout the year. Ainsley attended all sporting trials throughout 2021 and was successful in making the following teams. Pete Downs team touch football, Pete Downs team netball, Pete Downs team CH and Capricorn teams for cross country, Pete Downs team and CH team for cricket, Pete Downs team and CH team, CH team for athletics. Ainsley has also been a member of the Emerald Netball Association since 2016. During this time, she has excelled at the sport and represented the association at various regional carnivals. Ainsley was selection, selected as a member of the 2021 Capricorn Stars Squad and has been again selected for the 2022 squad program. Ainsley was also selected in the ENDA 12 Years Representative Team to compete in the 2021 Nissan State Age Championships on the Sunshine Coast. Following that event, she was voted Players Player by her teammates. Ainsley is also part of the A Good ACOF team and volunteers her time as an assistant coach for younger students. Ainsley completed a numerous, uh, has completed a numerous Steadfords in 2021 in individual, duo and group, group categories and received places in all events. Ainsley's sportsmanship is second to none and she is always encouraging her peers to have a go at new things and will always be there cheering them along the way. Ainsley's never give up attitude is inspirational and she's always there to motivate her peers and to keep on going. Congratulations, Ainsley, on receiving the award. You are such an inspirational person. Senior Sports Administration Award. The Senior Sports Person Administrator of the Year Award recognises individuals aged 18 and over who have had an outstanding record of achievement in their sport or have made a significant contribution as a coach, an official or administrator. The nominees for 2022 Sportsperson Administrators Award are Wendy Sullivan and Lorinda Hill. The winner of the Senior Sportsperson Administration Award this year goes to Lorinda Hill. Lorinda Hill of Capella for her contribution to the sports of Junior Rugby League. Lorinda became aware of the Peak Downs Junior Rugby League Club was going to fold due to no committee to take on the role as president. Coached the under eights, under tens when needed and as they have no coach and trained the under sevens with a tackle safe program. She is also the club's first aid officer. Lorinda coaches and encourages children from all age groups, the fundamentals of the game, sportsmanship and fair play, and helps each child find their strength on the field. She is also a scout leader and committee member of Capella Scouts Group. Lorinda goes above and beyond taking on many roles within the club she's involved with while working full time. Congratulations, Lorinda. Wendy Sullivan was also nominated for this award for her contribution to the Peak Downs Pony Club, Peak Downs Pirates Junior Rugby League and Capella Scouts Group. The Citizen of the Year Award. The Citizen of the Year Award recognises ages 26 and above who have made a significant contribution to their community. The nominees for 2022 Citizen of the Year Award are Jenny Pedler, and Jim Francis. 
The 2022 Citizen of the Year winner is Jill Francis. The COVID pandemic has affected every region in Queensland. In late March, early April 2021, COVID came closer to the Central Highlands with a Gladstone gentleman testing positive. State government was quick to put mandated mask wearing into place, good for our protection, but leaving regional Queensland without a supply. Jill assembled a team who cut up and sewed until they were exhausted, creating thousands of masks. They were left outside Jill's house for the community to take what they needed. No payment required. Just a gold coin donation, if possible, to help with materials. Desperate people were waiting on her doorstep, waiting for extra masks so they could continue to go out into the community. One grateful recipient commented that Jill was a true champion. Jill not only created the masks for the community use, but also sewed special masks and scrub caps for use for our frontline workers as part of and adopt a frontline work incentive. Jill is generous of spirit, putting family and community ahead of anything. She is a willing cook, making tasty treats for fundraisers. Jill has also used her craft skills to fashion special ribbons for the C&K Kindy Olympics. Jill constantly shares community posts regarding job availability, information and notices to benefit the local area. She has helped make some of the regulations of those difficult COVID times a little easier to bear, asking nothing more than patience and courtesy from the community. Congratulations, Jill. Jenny Pedler was also nominated in this category for her contribution to the community providing transport to seniors to access shopping, facilities and appointments in Emerald. She is also a member of the Friends of the Cultural Centre, Pioneer Village and assists with the weekly senior functions at the community. Okay. Well, Central Highlanders, thank you for being part of um, Australia Day 2022. And now comes that important part where uh, in all parts of the Central Highlands, you get the chance to recognise your local heroes. So whether you're in Capella, in Blackwater, or Springshaw, Rolston, or at Thierry, or in Emerald, uh, this is your chance to make sure that you go and say, these are the people that are really special to us on this Australia Day 2022.